And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 22 seconds. T minus 15 seconds and counting. 10 seconds. We have a go for main engine start. Six, four, three, two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery lighting up the nighttime sky as we continue building the International Space Station. Space Station. Speed of 1,000 miles an hour, altitude one mile, downrange of one and a half miles from the Kennedy Space Center already. Three good engines, startling back to two-thirds of the rate of thrust. Passing the air of maximum dynamic pressure, about to go supersonic. There's a view from the external tank camera. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. All systems remain in go for Discovery. Altitude, eight miles. Speed, 1,700 miles an hour. Downrange, 10 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Since launch, Discovery already consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant. It now weighs less than half that it did at liftoff. Altitude 18 miles. Speed 3,000 miles an hour. Already 22 miles northeast of Kennedy Space Center. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Boost drops are confirmed, clean separation of the two solid rockets. Discovery's three engines now powering the second stage. Discovery's orbital maneuvering system engines firing now to assist the climb into orbit. They'll fire for about a minute and 37 seconds. Discovery Houston, two engine Maroon. Two engine Maroon. That call means Discovery can perform a transatlantic oceanic land landing at Maroon, Spain, if required. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Speed now, 4,500 miles an hour, altitude 45 miles, downrange 78 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Actually five minutes remaining until main engine cutoff. Speed almost 5,000 miles an hour, altitude 53 miles, downrange 110 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Discovery Houston, negative return. Negative return. That call means Discovery has gained too much speed and altitude to return to the Kennedy Space Center for a landing if a problem arises. Just under four minutes until main engine cutoff. During that time, Discovery is going to triple its speed to reach the 17,400 miles an hour needed to reach Earth orbit. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, Three good fuel cells. 
altitude 6,300 miles, 63 miles, speed 6,500 miles an hour, downrange 207 miles from Kennedy Space Center along the eastern seaboard of the United States. Discover Houston, press to ATO, select Istris. Press to ATO, select Istris. Discovery now could reach an orbit lower than planned, but still safe on two engines. Speed 7,700 miles an hour. Altitude 67 miles. 290 miles off the eastern coast of the United States away from Kennedy Space Center. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells.